Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm once again back on top ladder, going for 2500 plus rating points in Ultimate Champion League with 3.0 Expo Cycle, my favorite deck in the game. I know it's been quite a while since I've done a ladder push video, or just a video in general, so I do apologize for that. Just kind of been busy with school, and just uh, sometimes, I know, like, I grind quite a lot for, you know, daily uploads and consistency, but sometimes I just get a bit tired, uh... But I am back. We see an eye drag come down right now, so this looks like Mega Knight bait. Um, but yeah, guys, don't worry. I do have quite a lot of ladder push content coming out for you guys in the next few days, so hope you can look forward to that. Just gonna ice spirit for the skeleton barrel to prevent any spawn damage. Gonna have to cycle back to a knight for this. All skeletons for the skelly barrel, then all knight for the Mega Knight. And that should full counter both sides, I think. I'll log as well for those spears. And, yep, that was a pretty nice defense, actually. Didn't take any damage in both lanes. So if you guys didn't know, uh, skeleton barrels, the easiest way to counter them is with archers, three for three, full counters. You can also let it connect and log. You can also Tesla, but that's a bit of an overcommit. And lastly, you can just ice spirit and then uh, skeletons afterwards. That'll be no damage, too, because the ice spirit does prevent the skeleton barrel from connecting onto your tower. So you don't uh, take any of the spawn damage. You're going to hover skellies for the eye drag, which I knew was coming down. All archers as well. He does zap. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty well defended expo on his end, but he just spent 9 elixir. 4 with the eye drag, 3 with the miner, 2 with the zap. Oh, and he goes for a skelly barrel. That's a big mistake. I actually think he lost the game right now because how is he going to stop this Evo Knight? Going to log the skelly barrel back. I also clip one of the spears, and I genuinely do believe he's lost. I mean, he has a gang back in cycle. Uh, does he have enough elixir for it though? Okay, he does. Yeah, but like he's solo in elixir right now. I could maybe even expo at 6. Uh, and I honestly just might, because I am so sure he's low in elixir right now. I will. I'll let the spear lock onto the tower first, and then I'm going to go in. Skeletons for the eye drag once more, and that's going to be about a thousand damage minimum. He might zap. That's fine. I'll let this go. It's still going to be, as I said, a thousand damage, which is pretty solid, uh, g getting me off to a nice lead in this matchup, and I'll just log that skeleton barrel after it pops. Don't really want to waste a Tesla right now. I can also Ice Spirit to pressure with these two archers, and honestly, this is a pretty easy matchup, like, pretty free. I believe he has Evo Bats, but Evo Bats are not very threatening, actually. Like, they don't do too much, and I'll actually just fireball that uh, left tower. I usually do fireball cycle against spear goblins, or against the goblin gang rather, like usually the side of four, but this time, you know, I want tower damage in the left, so I'm just going to cycle in the left. It's not really a big deal. Uh, then I'll just get back to a Tesla for this side. He goes for an MK. Pretty aggressive MK, honestly, like he wasn't really up elixir per se. I mean, he was, he had quite a lot of elixir, but the, like, just based on the way he played it, you could tell it wasn't really the best MK. And now this should pretty much be over. I have three archers and a Tesla for the counter push, so I don't really see how he's going to stop this at all. I mean, he can get back to an MK, no doubt, but I can literally just knight for it. I'll hover my knight right now for the MK. There it is. Let me just knight real quick. Archers as well. It sadly does jump onto the expo and splash it, but I'm back to another expo in a second here. I get like Okay, I was going to say get, like, a baby expo lock, but I don't. But I will now. Like, there's no way he stops this. I'll ice spirit as well. Plus, I have the Evo Knight in cycle. I'll get ready to log his Goblin Gang. Knight to catch the Miner. Let me just log that gang real quick. Uh, bats come down, but they are honestly not very threatening, as you can see. Like, they stay alive, but especially against Evo Knight, they're not very useful. I'll give him the well played as well, because he did tried his best. Honestly, just a pretty bad matchup for him. Uh, and he did do what he had to do, but I also did what I had to do, which is just, like, you know, play pretty like defensively and go in at the right time so that's going to put me 1.2k in the world pushing up there all right guys so next match against Raphael. let's see what he's going to be running gives good luck i'll give it back let me just cycle log right now expo is nowhere to be seen sadly you know i love to make the play of uh expo or, or rather split archers and then expo like when they play something in the back expo opposite lane i really do love that play he goes for the barbs in the back so Evo Barb's Goblin Gang, honestly looking like Elixir Golem right now, which I don't really like the look of, because uh, E Golem is a pretty toxic archetype as a whole, and it's pretty annoying for Expo to defend. Now, I could go in, but he has three Barb's coming down, so that Knight's gonna get taken down to like maybe half HP or so. I don't really want to counter push with that Knight. Okay, maybe a bit, le a bit more than half HP, but like, you know what I mean. Like, it's not necessarily a healthy Knight, and. You can ignore a pump to go in, uh, like, situationally, but I feel like with that knight, it was a bit too low. Anyways, he goes for a really aggro- wait, Goblin Giant? Okay, it's not Eagle, it's Goblin Giant. Really aggressive Fireball as well. Let me just Ice Spirit to hit everything. Beautiful Ice Spirit. I missed one minion, but still, overall, a pretty good Ice Spirit, I'd say. And I think I can Expo at 6, because that was so aggro. He went Fireball, he also Raged, right? Or Zap, or whatever it was. He, he did play a 2 elixir spell, I'm sure. I think it was a Rage, and he misses the gang. 
Um, I'll just log. Even if he didn't miss that, by the way, like, I would have logged either way, so that doesn't really do anything. I'll give him the sarcastic well played, because, I mean, he was laughing. Um, that's going to be a huge expo lock. I'll actually just Evo Knight the bridge right now, because I don't really see how he can stop this. I mean, he has minions back? No, oh, oh he has Evo Barbs. My bad. Okay, guys, that was a terrible Evo Knight. Uh, don't really see how he can stop this, and he proceeds to just Evo Barbs and destroy it. Okay, that's on me, actually. Uh, that being said, he does have a Fireball, not Arrows, I think, so he could have both. But I, I think he has, like, Fireball Rage or something, right? So Archers will clean it up at least. But yeah, that was not the best informed Evo Knight, guys. My bad. I really thought he was low on Elixir. Uh, but turns out he was Evo back to Evo Barbs, Elixir-wise. So, yeah. I'm going to Expo this time. Ignore the pump. And if he doesn't get a Goblin Giant down in time, that's going to be a lock. It's a Spark. Oh, man. Don't have an Ice Spirit. So, he does have a Sparky in here. I'm a bit surprised because uh, he didn't play it the whole game. I'll okay, yeah. I thought he was going to let that go. This is very sketchy right now. I'll Skeletons first. Knight, Ice Spirit for the Sparky to reset it. I really need this to not shoot the knight. Okay, nice. That should be a dead Sparky, I hope. Thank God. Okay, that should be very clutch. Actually, I'd, wait, I, wait, I take, like, no damage. I take, like, one spear. That was actually extremely clutch, guys. Like, I thought I was dead. But thankfully, the perfectly timed Ice Spirit allowed the knight to take the Sparky out. If that got a hit on the knight, or even the tower, that would have been good game, most likely. So, thank God for that. Good timing. Uh, just gonna have to get ready to defend now, though, because I am down Elixir. Like, he goes Sparky when not even at 10. That's already one key when I'm down Elixir. The number two, he has that pump on the board. Like, I'm kind of nervous right now, so... I think I have to fireball on defense here. Don't really see any other play. So let me just fireball. I hit, like, a lot of stuff. I actually missed two minions, but I hit, like, the Sparky. And that Goblin Giant is on... T oh, God. Uh, did I just throw? Okay, I don't think so. Yeah, Knight's gonna take that out, but... He can pump right now. I don't have a... He goes Sparky when I'm at 5.5. So that's how I know I'm down like 4.5 elixir, guys. Like, that's a Q, right? Because when they play something in the back like that, they're usually at 10. Knight does not get a hit. I was going to hope he got a hit. That would have been so nice. I don't really want to fireball that pump, by the way, because I have a feeling he's going to go all in with this push and like... Okay, never mind. What? Uh, I, I mean, I could fireball the pump. I still don't really want to, though. Like, honestly speaking. Because, yeah, there are the barbs. I honestly want to fireball that on the tower, but that's also really t way too greedy. So I won't. I will, this is the fireball I was talking about. Like, I know he's going to go for some nonsense, like, you know, goblin giant minions, barbs, whatever. So at that point, that's the fireball I wanted to take. So I'll just take that. Goblin gang splits. That's fine. Um, he's not back to his goblin giant. Yeah, he has Sparky. I'll just knight for that. Archers. And if he does not go for a goblin giant right now, he loses the game. He does, though. Okay. I was going to hope he was going to mess up and go for, like, fireball rage or something. Then he definitely would have lost. But he does hold off. Uh, well played Barbs as well, by the way, because I went for that log, last second log, I always talk about this, trying to catch them off guard, but he was ready for it, to his credit. I actually don't want to fireball that still. I mean, there's only 48 seconds left in the game. I might as well, like, just buckle up and full defend, rather than fireballing the pumps when there's not much time left in the game anyway. In fact, I'm going to take the double fireball on the Sparky uh, and tower right now, so I'll just kill the Sparky real quick. And I hit the barbs too, beautiful fireball. Actually missed the tower, but that was honestly worth it for hitting those barbs. I'll log this, and don't even need a Tesla for this defense, honestly. Very clean. Let me just defensive expo again. Okay, really badly timed defensive expo sadly i have to get back to a log for this as well lots of spam on the board right now um let me just not lose to these minions real quick knight as well please okay nice we're fine yeah i just fireball tower he fireballs back but i win uh rage does not do like 110 as well so that is just going to be a good game very nice win against goblin giant sparky pump honestly pretty annoying matchup but low-key might be my matchup because you can just defend well like i defended pretty well the whole game uh and i did get a nice lock as well when he messed up that Goblin Gang that one time. But yeah, otherwise, you know, pretty annoying matchup. I mean, Goblin Giant is broken right now. It's everywhere, but we're almost in top 1k, so pushing up there. Alright, guys, so in a match against Fufu, that's kind of funny, because I call one of my university friends Fufu as a joke. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like a really stupid version of his name. Uh, but he goes for a Ram first play. Okay, I actually don't see Ram very often these days, so... Don't really know how to feel about this. Um... Let me see here. I... Yeah, it was P.E.K.K.A. What? Okay, I'm just gonna Expo. That was a really aggressive ram. Like, I don't see P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band players going Battle Ram the Bridge first play. Like, pretty much ever, to be honest. So, uh, I'll hover Knight for, like, a Ghost or a Bandit if he wants to go for one. Goes for an E-Wiz. I will log that. I think that's... Okay, never mind. Goes for a Knight. So, he's playing P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band with the Evo Knight. Very interesting. Although, I can't really blame him. I'm gonna Knight on top of the E-Wiz to take it out. Uh, skeletons to kite the P.E.K.K.A. in. Archers down low. He does that, but I can Ice Spirit to kite the P.E.K.K.A. back. And that should be all defended, I hope. Yeah, that is pretty much all defended. So, 
Honestly, Evo Knight does change the matchup a bit, but this should still be a lock, because he is not back to P.E.K.K.A. right now, so I will just Expo. He's like one-off P.E.K.K.A., I think, so yeah, Ram, now he's back, but is he going to P.E.K.K.A. no goes Ghost, which is a mistake in my opinion, he probably should have gone P.E.K.K.A., because now, I don't really see how he can really do much about this, I'll log everything back, and that should be a pretty big lock, honestly, I'll Ice Particate this Barb out of Expo range if it was in range before, gets a late Knight down, but not really the move, I'm going to go Archers, Actually, I can let it go, because X was going to die by the time it crosses. So yeah, really just not the best knight on his end. I think he was just low on Elixir. Probably couldn't afford it in time, because he went like Ewiz, right? He went like Ghost, Ewiz, Ram. That's like 11 Elixir already, so he calls a good game as well. Honestly, I just don't really know why he was playing this way. I feel like this matchup could have gone a lot better for him. Like, he definitely had... Okay, I'm just going to Fireball. I mean, honestly, well played. If I didn't go... If I went like Knight there, the minions would have ruined me, so... He does have minions here. I didn't know if he had a... Uh, Magic Archer or Minions. Also, it looks like he did replace the Bandit with the Evo Knight, because I haven't seen a Bandit in, like, two minutes so far. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, I guess. But, yeah, honestly, I don't really think he should have been that aggressive in single. Like, number one, by cycling a peck out of the back. That's just asking to get punished. I mean, you're against Expo and you're doing that. Like, come on. And then number two, just, uh, I was able to outcycle him because of that P.E.K.K.A. play. Like, honestly, it all started with that P.E.K.K.A. play. Like, it's just too aggro. I guess it works sometimes. I know you can starting hand people if you're the one playing P.E.K.K.A. But otherwise, like, it just does not really do that well, I'd say. So, yeah, this game is pretty much over. Also, if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I already reached 30k subs, so much love. Appreciate all of you for that. Don't really have any imminent goals at the moment. Just kind of, you know, if you are enjoying, please feel free to show some support and love. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy we reached 30k. On that note, the 30k Q&A is going to come out very soon as well. Just want to get a ladder push in real quick before that, because I uh, kind of felt like it. Just going to fireball that, honestly. Like, I guess he wants me to... He thinks I won't fireball because I want to fireball cycle his tower, which is fair. But I'm always, like, a patient player. Like, I'm never the kind of player who's going to risk a, a loss just to spell cycle. Like, I'm always going to make sure I defend first, you know? He calls a good game now. Yeah, he loves the Ice Connect. That's going to be GG to the fireball. That should be 2,500, I believe. I'm going to be good luck as well. He was a good sport, and that's not even a good matchup for him. So honestly, props to my guy for being a good sport in a pretty tough matchup, especially because he didn't even play it that well. Uh, that's going to be, oh wow, one off 25, but top 1k. All right, guys, we are one off 2,500, unfortunately. I think I'll stop two above 2,500. That should be a pretty good stopping point. We have already broken into the top 1k, though, which is pretty nice stuff. We see skeletons, Evo skeletons. Okay, those actually have the capability to be very problematic, so I have to be a bit wary of those. It goes for a drill. That should be all countered by my knight. I'll just expo in the right. Let's see what he has for this. He goes for an eye tower. Okay, all the skeletons for it. And he's in trouble right now, honestly, because he does have to respond to both the left and the right. Goes for a bowler. I'll Tesla on it, honestly, why not? Because bowler is going to target the Tesla first. In the meantime, yeah, it's a delivery in the left, and that means he loses to this expo, I believe, because he cannot support both sides. So honestly, just really good um, like pressure on my end. Honestly, not much wrong with going drill first play, I don't think. But just, like... I guess he shouldn't have gone eye tower. Maybe he didn't have bowler and cycle, which is in that in that case, God bless me. Like that was very fortunate because he did he did not have the bowler to counter the expo, uh, and I was able to react to the bowler with the Tesla, of course, in time. But otherwise, you know, you don't really want to be going for uh, like super aggro plays like those. I mean, I got a nice counter push as well. I got the knights plus one archer in the left, which always does warrant a response. I mean, if he had like a log fire spirit or something, that would have helped. But he has a fireball. Okay. But he does have a delivery in here, which... He has an interesting deck. He has, like, Drill, Delivery, Fireball, Eye Tower. Honestly, probably my matchup, based on the way he played it. Looks like he doesn't really have a good small spell except for Delivery, which, you know, I will definitely take. Honestly, just kind of pressured well in single, though, which is what Expo does, guys. So against some of these matchups, like, that was such a fast game, but you can honestly get games like these if you just play super fast. Or rather, play super optimal in single and punish them at the right time. That's going to be 820 in the world, 2527, so we are one off 2550. I will go for the final match. Alright, guys, found a match against Victor. Um, let's see what he's going to be running. I have sadly run into some issues in between this match and the previous ones, but I'm back up now. Well, again, one off 25.50. We see a cage. I honestly want to expo just because I don't really know what he has, uh, and I kind of want to find out. So this is honestly like a safe play that you can always make, uh, if you don't really know what they have. And he does go for the Night Phoenix, so that's like interesting. Uh, could be Graveyard, which I'd be really 
open to, okay, lightning, not going to be graveyard. There's, like, no graveyard deck in the world that runs a lightning these days. So, I'm not really sure what this is, but probably E-Giant, I guess. I mean, Goblin Cage plus Phoenix plus lightning, like, that's E-Giant, right? He does have a knight, which is kind of out of place, but to be fair, Evo Knight is such a broken card right now. Literally everyone is running it, so uh, it's not really too surprising. Let's find out, I guess. He's leaking... I'll just expo. If he E-Giants, he E-Giants. That's fine. At least I'll know exactly what he has. Yeah, he goes E-Giant. Okay. I'll just Tesla. Um, let's see. So that's going to be pretty well defended. Um, that's the placement you want to use when you're supporting your expo, but you're going for like a low Tesla. Like, it's the optimal Tesla placement. You can do that against Golem, against Giant as well. So take note of that, uh, where basically it attacks a troop that's on your expo, but the Tesla is low enough to the point where it will stay alive and kind of defend itself. Um, as opposed to like test of the bridge, you know, like right next to your expo, that's way too aggro. You never really do that against giant or e giant for that matter. Um, I like fireball in the goblin cages honestly because you can just get a minus one trade to get a fireball in the tower. Like skeletons does full counter the goblin brawler uh, if you just fireball it off. So especially if he doesn't have fireball bait in here, which it doesn't look like he has. He might, I don't know, but I'll just Tesla again. So he has Phoenix and Baby Dragon. Phoenix is really not problematic at all for Expo. Like, it's actually very easy to defend. Even the Egg, like, you can just log it off. But Baby Dragon is a bit more frustrating, especially if it's tanked for by stuff. So I'm going to have to be careful about that. That being said, you know, I have a nice lead. About 500 damage in the right. Pretty comfortable lead. I'll Ice Root as well, try and cement that even more. And then just go for a high anti-lightning Tesla. Nice, good Ice Root. So when they go, like, Ejon at the back... I do like pressuring with Ice Spirit the bridge because they do have to respond. Otherwise, it's going to be an Ice Spirit on the tower for only one elixir. And if they do respond, which they do sometimes, they have to like play, you know, something in front of the Egine, which they never really want to do, of course. Uh, one Archer stays alive, which is pretty clutch. I'll just go back for a second Tesla, just to make sure this entire push is taken care of. Then I'll just fireball the Baby Dragon, uh, and maybe get a Night Hit for that. Nice, we get a Night Hit. So honestly, like this is looking perfect, guys. He hasn't dealt a single hit of damage uh, to my tower yet, by the way. Like he hasn't gotten even one HP of damage on my towers, and I am up like 1.3k. Purely from spell cycle at this point, I think that's like, what, two fireballs and a ton of logs? Maybe some ice spirits along the way? Because I don't think I got any expo locks. I'll just log again. Uh, high Tesla. This time he was pr is probably going to lightning in the middle. If I had to guess, okay, Baby Dragon right into my Tesla is really good for me. I'll Evo Knight just to protect these archers. Okay, this is a bit sketchy now at this point because that Evo Knight is a little problematic. Um, I'll just Tesla for it and then archers keep my Tesla alive. I think the Tesla is worth keeping alive because if it dies... He could go E-Giant the bridge, and I might lose the game. So honestly, I think that is worth it. He goes E-Giant opposite. I think this calls for an Expo because he just went for an Evo Knight as well, which means even though he does have a Knight, he does not have the Evo Knight. So this is actually a pretty prime Expo to possibly get a lock. I'll Knight last second. Uh, Baby Dragon Barbell, it's a lock right there. Yep, Barbell came down too late. Also beautiful catch on the Barbell with the uh, Ice Spirit. And that is going to be pretty much good game, because, I mean, he can't really do too much. I'll cycle Skeletons in the right, just because if I go Skeletons in the left, he'll just, like, die to the Baby Dragon anyways. Low Tesla. He could Lightning this, honestly, which is a bit scary. But uh, I can Expo. Actually, I don't even think I need to. Okay, this is going to be a lot of damage, but I think I'll, I'll live, and I'll definitely come out with more damage than he did. So I should be okay. Um... Yeah, that's about 1.8k, which is, like, quite a lot of damage to take, but not really that bad i can just defensive expo and honestly fireball cycle i think i can hit both the phoenix and the baby dragon if i'm lucky let me try yeah nice that was a lot of fireball value and i think i can defend this without a tesla hopefully um okay wait the left side is getting really sketchy actually uh this is a bit wait i'll tesla ice spirit that evo knight is on my tower that is problematic okay it's off now Okay, we should be good, actually. Yeah, even though it isn't going to take the entire tower, especially when it's defended, like, partially. And then I'm back to another anti-lightning Tesla. If he wants the lightning, he can't hit the tower, which he does obviously want to hit, so that's going to be a Tesla that stays alive and clears the E-Giant out. So that's going to be GG's. Nice, very nice win against E-Giant Lightning with the Evo Knight. Honestly, kind of sketchy. Uh, interesting deck, but I feel like... I feel like if they play it well, it might be their matchup. But, I mean... There are definitely opportunities you can go for as well to break through, and also you can spell cycle like I did. That's going to be ranked 752 in the world, though, guys. 2554 rating points in Ultimate Champion. So we are back in business in the top 1k. And yeah, really nice wins, honestly. All things considered, I was able to come back from those losses. But that's about it for the video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.